Hello and welcome. I'm Carrie. I'm one of the counselors at the Positive Choice Integrative Wellness Center. And I would like to welcome you to Partial Meal Replacement. I will be covering today how to begin your meal replacement plan, finding your classroom, tips for completing product pickup and medical check-ins, and additional program details. So first, I'd like to congratulate you on taking steps towards a healthier future. If you received the link for this video, then you've attended a weight program information session, and you're either in the process of completing or already have completed your medical appointments and enrollment consult. At your enrollment consult, you are assigned into a group. And in this video, I'd like to help you make a smooth transition into your group and onto the meal replacements and the program. So first, I'd like to share that since the partial meal replacement is an ongoing class, most everyone who joins an ongoing class comes into their first session feeling just a little out of place. But this is normal. Your counselor realizes that you're new and will do their best to help make your adjustment to the partial meal replacement class comfortable. And we know that you'll be a great asset to any class. So I'm also going to cover when and how to do the daily behavior records that you see on the screen, the recommended week one food plan and the meal replacement food plan that you will follow for uh, at least 14 weeks as you lose towards your weight loss goal and then the uh, required ongoing medical supervision during your weight loss and where to find the food plans and information for transitioning off your meal replacements as you near your weight loss goal. At your startup medical appointment that you completed at Garfield Specialty Center, you would have received a partial meal replacement welcome packet. If you don't have it with you now, you may want to pause this video and get it as this video will be referring to it. So one of the first things we'd like you to know is how to access your online program materials. And if you are in a virtual program, how to click into your weekly virtual classroom. And you will find these resources on our website, which is positivechoice.org. So when you type in positivechoice.org into your internet browser, you will see our homepage and the many different program options and resources that we have for you. So look in the upper right-hand corner and you'll see a green bar at the top and a purple button titled Bookshelf. When you tap or click on that purple bookshelf button, it will open a page that lists all of our programs. So scroll down to find the partial meal replacement program and click or tap onto the program name and it will open the partial meal replacement program page. This is what you should see. So the bulleted items in blue are live links and when you tap or click on them, you can open the PDF of the program materials. And if you're attending a virtual program, you will scroll to find your class day, time, and instructor. You will see the blue classroom number. That's a live link. So when you click or, click or tap on it, your Blackboard virtual classroom will open automatically. Blackboard only works well with certain browsers. If you are on a tablet, a pad, or a computer, please use Google Chrome. And if you are on a smartphone, Safari or Firefox work best. When the Blackboard Virtual Classroom opens, it will ask you to enter your name. So just type in your first name as it is in your medical chart and then your last initial. The system will then ask to test your mic and camera. So you must say yes to allow the system to test that you have a working camera and a mic or it will not let you in the classroom. 
And once you are in the classroom, you can have the option of opening your camera or mic. They are not automatically on. And you do this by using the icons that will appear on the bottom of the black part of your screen. So clicking on the icon microphone will turn on your mic and clicking on the icon of the camera will turn on your camera. And you may not see yourself as the system will only show you if you are speaking. You can find more directions on how to use Blackboard in your welcome packet. And if you need extra help during your class, we've got you covered. There's a lifeline you can call, which is our program line, 858-616-5600. Or after hours, you can go to the website and look for the technology support window on the homepage and click for more help. We recommend that you keep your receipts. You may qualify for a tax deduction or reimbursement from your healthcare savings account. And you can read more about this also in our welcome packet. But what you will need to have are your program receipts to be reimbursed. So just so you know, our billing system does not allow for you to receive an itemized receipt after the day of payment. So please keep your receipts. In your welcome packet, you will find five black copies of the daily behavior records. And we ask that you record all the food that you eat, whether it's a snack or a meal, and fill in what you eat, how much, what you were doing while you were eating. Maybe you were watching TV or talking with friends or at your desk working, et cetera. And also a hunger rating. So zero means I wasn't hungry at all, up to three plus, very hungry. So you want to keep this record for five days before you begin the meal replacement food plan and then keep them handy. Your counselor will have you refer to them from time to time throughout your program. So the daily behavior records are a great tool for discovering small, seemingly insignificant behaviors that lead to struggles with your weight. Things like maybe waiting too long to eat and getting over hungry or stress eating, some poor food choices, all of the above. So reflection on the records provides insight for recognizing what lifestyle skills you will need to focus on mostly for a successful weight maintenance. Most likely, you may have many reasons why you want to lose weight. We have one. We want you to achieve your optimal health. Optimum health isn't necessarily about a lower number on the scale. Instead, it's about achieving a lower body fat percentage, and in particular, much less fat around your major organs, because it is this type of fat that increases your risk for many chronic major diseases. So achieve, to achieve the right kind of weight loss, you need to consistently follow a healthy food plan and balanced fitness routine. Weight loss done incorrectly can drop the number on the scale, but you won't get the same health benefits or appearance. So the chart on the screen gives you an idea of how weight loss versus body percent fat loss affects your health and appearance. Let's look at the nutrition that supports healthy weight loss. Foods that facilitate weight loss provide a lot of nutrition, but not necessarily a lot of calories. So the diet that yields the best outcomes for lowering blood cholesterol, blood sugars, and helping to resolve diabetes, heart disease, fatty liver, et cetera, is a diet that's whole, unprocessed foods and mostly comes from plants. Foods like whole grains, nuts, seeds, beans, fruits, and vegetables. These foods are your major source of vitamins, minerals, and pigments that provide a major boost to your immune system and your body function. 
So plant-based foods are high in fibers that promote gut health and help to create a sense of fullness. If you see the chart that shows how plants fill up the stomach without a lot of calories, uh, you can see how you can uh, get a lot of food without bulking up on calories. Here is your week one food plan. On the left is the food plan for people eating all plant-based, in other words, no animal products. And then on the right are for people who are eating animal-based products or animal proteins. And you can see that you have a specific number of servings from each food group for each day. So next to the columns is pictured a sample day of what those servings might look like and the timing of the food intake. And just remember, the foods listed and pictured are just suggestions. You don't need to eat those foods or do that timing exactly. In your welcome packet, you have lists of the foods for each group and serving sizes. And in regards to timing of your food intake, our recommendation is to have some food within one to two hours of waking and then every four hours when you are uh, at week one and then uh, it transitions back into the four hour. But during the program, we recommend a three hour um, time frame for eating. So, and it doesn't have to be a lot of food, just enough to keep the hunger away. You will achieve your best results when you combine the three basics of exercise with your healthy food plan. We want you to start where you are, to use what you have, and to do what you can with exercise. And so to support you in your movement, be prepared to exercise in each class session. Your counselor will guide you through a variety of workouts during your class that will help you with all the basics of exercise, cardiovascular, strength, and flexibility. So first, with cardiovascular exercise, it's important for weight loss because it not only trains your body to burn fat, it increases your metabolic rate, and so more calories are burned during and after exercise. Strength training is important for weight loss because it helps you develop essential muscles that will result in your body pulling stored fat uh, into your cells to use for energy and flexibility training is important for weight loss because it increases your ability to move a part of your body through its full range of motion. It helps you avoid injuries and falls and it speeds your recovery from workouts, reduces soreness and what I like best, it feels good to stretch. In your welcome packet, you will find an 18-week training plan that will help you start out slowly and increase your fitness as you progress. So please look at the training plan and start moving as soon as possible. If the plan seems too difficult or progresses too quickly for you, no worries. Just follow your instincts and allow your body time to adapt. And you can always Stay at week one longer if needed. Remember, start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. Doing something, no matter how small, is better than doing nothing. To make fitness easier, we have many support tools on our website to help. If you go to positivechoice.org, their homepage, you can hover your mouse over the nutrition fitness tab to see a green drop down menu appear. So click on the exercise videos and then you'll see what we have for exercise videos. Some are only about five to 10 minutes and great for beginners and others are longer. 
and you can find the videos that will help you build muscle and strength, cardio, and both regular yoga and a simplified yoga for beginners or those with physical limitations. Because water is involved with almost every biological function in your body, your metabolism will slow down in a dehydrated state. So when your body does not have adequate amounts of water, your calorie burning machine, which are your muscles, they slow down dramatically. On the partial meal replacement program, we recommend that your water fluid intake should first be driven by thirst, but then uh, the guidelines would be to follow the estimated adequate intake. So for men, it's about three liters or 13 cups of beverages a day. And for women, about 2.2 liters or about nine cups of water a day. And remember, the water that you put into your steaks can also be counted into your total water intake. So let's go over some of the flow for the first couple of weeks in your program. Week one of your program, you will attend class. And if you are in a virtual class, you will just simply click into your group and you will not have to, you will have a clinic visit for that week. And if you're on an in-person group, you will come into the clinic and do your regular check-in. So remember to complete the daily behavior records and to before your uh, week one visit. And then at week one, you will follow the suggested meal plan. At week two, everybody completes their medical check-in and it gets product pickup at Garfield. So check in at your designated location. Um, when you check in at your designated location, um, you won't be doing that until your third week on the program. So you will go at Garfield to the fourth floor to make your payment and order your meal replacement flavors. And it's always a good idea to be familiar with the flavors ahead of time to make the check-in go a little more smoothly and see your welcome packet for product information and the flavors that are available for you. When you do your medical check-in, you will receive your medical instruction letter and program materials. Be sure to review preparing your meal replacements and medical instructions and um, overview in your welcome packet so you know how to safely use the meal replacements. At week three, during your medical check-in and product pickup, well, that will be at your designated location. So there is a page in your welcome packet that tells you specifically how to do check-ins at each location. And we have the addresses and the clinic hours in there. So clinic hours do change. So always check our website for the most current schedule and the uh, call the main line. Also on the screen, you can see a list of the program topics. We don't always complete these topics in this order, but they are all covered in the 18 session program that the topics represent. So let's go over your partial meal replacement food plan. On the food plan, you will have four meal replacements combined with food which is spaced around every three hours. Here it's pictured an example of how your day may look. Although each meal replacement is pictured here as a chocolate steak, know that you can use any flavor that you care for for your meal replacements. And one of your meal replacements a day can be either a soup or a bar. We don't recommend that you have more than one soup or bar uh, in a day because of the sodium optimization levels that we try to um, acquire during your program. When you get within three to five pounds of your goal weight, let your counselor know. In your welcome packet, you will find the suggested food plans for transitioning off of your meal replacement. So if you have questions, you can ask your counselor for help. 
a couple of reminders about the medical check-in. Remember, blood work and medical check-ins are mandatory. So if you miss more than a two lab draws in a row, you will be automatically withdrawn from the program and it may incur uh, a fee to be re-enrolled. We are looking forward to partnering with you on your weight loss journey. So if you have questions, please call us. And we want to thank you for taking time today to visit us here at Positive Choice Integrative Wellness Center and uh, to help you get started in your partial meal replacement program. Thank you.